Welcome uh, to the uh, City of Hayward's mural art program tour. Mural art discourages that anti-community uh, behavior. And it also helps develop the local business community and makes it more attractive for people to come down and enjoy their little town. And since this town is in uh, a, a point of uh, a view where they're trying to establish a theme of excellence amongst their inhabitants and all their business people to realize this is well worth a place to come and enjoy, not just to pass by. One of the reasons why um, we're here today is that I want to introduce to you uh, Andrew Knight. Andrew uh, was commissioned uh, to uh, develop this 3,500 square foot mural. I mean, it's an intense mural. Uh, if you look at it, it depicts so much of those maybe glorious days that uh, you would think that the Ohlone the Ohlone Indians enjoyed uh, back before the Spanish arrived. But uh, even though there are protected uh, areas here today, I'm going to turn over uh, my commentary and hear a little commentary for this particular gentleman. Uh, so he can talk to you specifically about this particular mural, which is the gateway mural of the city of Hayward. Hey, thank you. Hi, everybody. I'm Andrew Kong Knight, and uh, this is a mural that I uh, had the honor to do. It was funny when they asked me because I knew exactly what wall they were talking about. I said, is that that wall with that vacant dirt lot in front of it? Because I used to pass this uh, wall all the time, and I, every time I pass by this wall, I think, God, someone should really do a mural on this wall. Uh, Stacy Sorensen asked me to do it. I knew exactly what wall she was talking about. Fortunately, the prep took a lot of time. Just to prep this wall was a major event because this wall wasn't in the best shape, and I wanted to get it as smooth as possible. You can still see that it's a lot of texture when you, when you look up close. So they, they took off and scraped about five layers of paint on this wall. One of the funny things that happened, well, it wasn't really funny, but we, we um, sometimes in life you either got to laugh or cry, so we decided to laugh about it, but they were shooting water against this wall to power wash it, and then there was, there was a seam in between the wall, and it went down. We're standing on the, uh, above the Celix uh, workers, their, their uh, shop where they uh, iron all the tuxedos, so the water actually leaked through the wall and went down onto the, all the tuxedos. So that wasn't too too good. So the uh, owner of the building sealed sealed it, but in the meantime, they wanted to keep prepping the wall. So they actually used fire to to, to sh uh, break out the wall. So at one point, this looked like a it looked like a fire had hit this wall, where they used flames to, to get rid of the, uh, the the many layers of paint on the wall. So this is an exact scale model. Uh, I think it's a quarter of an inch to a foot. After doing the drawing, I will paint a. Uh, little maquette of, of exactly the color palette that I would use on the mural. On this mural, I, I, I didn't. We decided to improvise right on the mural the, the color scheme. But that took more time, but it, it, it made the project more like a fine art project where we, we, we worked it out and we did our improvisation on the, on the uh, mural. As you can see, there's some uh, improvisation. I'll pass this around, but there's not a lake there, for instance. That was something that we did right. It wasn't part of the plan. Cattails below, that was a little bit of improvisation too. Mm -hmm. So it, once you get it on the wall, you might see, see things and, and uh, hopefully as an artist, I, I always think that you should make improvements from the sketch stage, very early sketch stage, all the way until the uh, final drawing. So you, you're gonna pass that around you know, let people to check that. But I, I, wanna, I want to introduce you uh, someone special in my life that made it possible that, that I, I could get through this project. I asked for her hand in marriage, uh, Alani Rhodes, give her a big hand, she, uh, if you like the poppies, come over here, come over here, she, she, uh, she uh, painted the poppy, she, in, in fact, uh, when I first asked her to do this mural, I said, oh, it'll be funny, I'll just do a few poppies, but it ended up to be a whole grove of poppies, and, I, and then she ended up uh, helping me paint the leaves on, on that tree, we, we mapped them out, and she did every leaf on that tree, and, uh, and, and she put up with me because she painted all the leaves and I said, oh, that looks great. And she goes, oh, we're done. I go, yeah, but now do the highlights on the, tree, on the, on the, on the leaves. So I, I guess it was a uh, labor of love because this was my hometown. So, so I really wanted to do all I could possibly do. And I didn't know how close people would be because eventually they're going to garden this area. The city's going to make this a nice garden. I think they're going to base the design around the mural. So it should be really nice. When you're coming from, from the highway and coming in this direction, 
and, and the mural, this, this tree and, and these other trees have blended perfectly. Did you take all that into consideration when you had done that? Yeah, when I because it's so yeah, perfect. Yeah, when I uh, when I did the sketching for the the mural, I, I incorporated these. I put the trees right in the little sketches to, to and I, I imagine this as like a backdrop, almost like a yeah, theater backdrop is. for for everybody in the cars. And that's exactly what I wanted to do is relax people in the car. I, I thought all the road rage and everybody coming home and all you know uptight, and then they would sit at that light and just have a nice peaceful thing. You know, this opportunity I think a mural is to give a certain emotion or feeling, and, it, and I wanted to bring peace and relaxation. Uh, to my home, home, home I would town. think a particular segment with Andy, and thank you very much for your yeah, commentary. It's a pleasure, pleasure that you participate with this. You did a wonderful job. Okay.